Hi, I'm Wilson Bickford, professional artist and art instructor. Uh, I've had a fantastic response from my previous YouTube posts that I've had on for the last year. I've had many uh, suggestions and uh, comments and people asking for specific projects and uh, lessons. So I've just posted some more. I hope you enjoy what I've shown you. I wanted to make you aware that I do have a website. It's www.wilsonbickford.com. And I do have some DVDs available on there, one that features an old barn, one that features a sunset. And I do have a new uh, book that's just coming out on the market just now. Um, it's Wildlife Landscapes You Can Paint. It's through Northlight Publishing, which manufactures thousands of art books. This is an acrylic medium. So far, my YouTube lessons have all been in oils. This is an acrylic, and it features animals. And they're all broken down into step-by-step -step fashion. So this is, will be available on my website, also on Amazon.com, and basically worldwide. So thanks for watching my videos. Check out my website and my blog. And I'd love to hear your comments. And I'm sure sometime in the future I'll have some more uh, lessons posted on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hi, thanks for joining me. I thought the focus of today's lesson would be birch trees. Birch trees are very popular in my area where I live. I'm from northern New York State. Um, I like to do birches with birds. Um, this is a close-up view of a birch tree, obviously, one that I'm working on. Um, here are some other ones of the downy woodpecker and the cardinal. I thought for today's lesson, however, we'd do something with some faraway birch trees. More of a distant view something along this line just to get you started possibly in a future posting I can do something with the closer birch trees that I've shown you here um, that involves a different technique different procedure to get that realism but I thought for something uh, for today's lesson to get us started we do something along this line with some distant birch trees so uh, all we're going to need for that actually are some Oh, just a few colors here. I've got ivory black, titanium white. I've got some sap green if we get far enough uh, to be able to put some leaves on these trees when we're done. I'm going to take uh, ivory black on a fan brush. And this is a background that I've started. It is wet. I'm going to place in the trees for placement. Now when you're doing trees, bear in mind that you have to think of the scale and proportion. Trees are a little bit wider at the base, narrower at the top. So I'm taking that into consideration as I'm blocking these in. Now my easel clamp is in the way right here, so I'm not going to go all the way off the canvas, but you'll get the idea. I'm not actually making a full-fledged painting here. This is a lesson on birches, so. But there's one. And I'll just kind of melt these down in the grass with the corner of the brush. Like I said, this background is wet. So I can just kind of noodle that down in there. These birches tend to grow in clumps. They're not going to be perfect like a pencil, perfectly straight. So every now and then you'll see I intentionally give them a little bit of a twist and a turn. And they tend to grow in clumps and a lot of them will root together from a common point. It'll be very close proximity to each other. So I'm just going to put in a few shapes. You're probably wondering why would you put in black first for a white, mostly white tree. Um, you'll see it works very well. I'm going to let this one lean right over like this. Trees are never perfect so don't paint them that way. And again I'm thinking of the scale making sure it's a little wider at the base. Narrower at the top. Once you do a few of these, they get really easy. They're, they are easy to do, so don't be afraid to give it a try. I'm going to take a palette knife. Now, I've got a couple different types here. They're the same style, different brands. This is a Bob Ross knife. This is a William Alexander knife. Same type of uh, shape. Do the same thing, so whichever you have. You could use a more traditional, life, tra traditional type of knife if that's what you're 
familiar with and comfortable with. I'm going to take some titanium white, pull it out very flat and cut off a little roll of paint. Now you'll see I'm going to deposit this up the edge of the tree. Now I'm starting on the light side, which in my mind the light in this painting is coming from the right. So I'm starting on the right hand side and I'm going to leave it in shadow along the left hand edge. Notice I'm coming around anywhere from a third of the way into maybe halfway, not quite halfway around the tree. I want to leave black on the, on the dark shadowed side on the left. And you may not notice it, but I'm in between loading, I'm wiping my knife off on a paper towel down here on the table in front of me because you'll pick up black from the canvas as you do this. So I'm just layering this on. I'd like to take a moment to thank Obsidian Custom Video for helping me out with uh, filming and editing and posting these videos for me. They do a great job, so there will be contact info for them at the end of this lesson. Be sure to check them out. They also have some stuff posted on YouTube. Okay, once I have done that, I'm going to take a clean, dry fan brush. Same as the one I had before, but to save time cleaning, I'm just going to grab one that's already clean. I don't have to wash the previous one out. I'll take a paper towel in my hand because I'm going to be wiping the brush off as I progress. I'm going to try to get the camera right in here good and tight. I'm literally going to take the corner of the brush and just whisk the leading edge of that white around the tree, getting that lined effect. You want those striations that look like that curly birch bark that's wrapped around the trees. Now you'll see this is a pretty good approximation of a birch tree that's in the distance away from you. It wouldn't be good for the one that I showed you with the birds on earlier because that needs more detail because it's a much closer view. But see I just grabbed the inside edge of that white. Most people work this to death. Notice I'm just trying to destroy the hard edge of white on the inside and let it stay dark on the back side. That's really all there is to that. I'll put just a touch more down here. Down to the ground level. I got it a little too low. I'll rub that off there. Now you'd want to put some limbs on there. I'm going to use a liner brush. This is a script liner. These are three different brands of the same thing. You want something with a long hair, long bristle on it. These are all like number two and number four script liners. I'll go back to that same black that I used earlier. I'm going to thin this down a lot with my paint thinner that I clean my brushes with. I've got a bucket of it sitting right here that I clean my brushes in. It's just 100% mineral spirits, odorless mineral spirits. And I want the paint thinned down almost like milk. And you'll see that I roll the brush and drag it sideways through the paint so those bristles are full right from one end to the other. Now you'll have a lot more time than what I've got here in this 10 minutes on this video. But you'd want to put however many limbs that you want. Be aware the limbs will be a little heavier. The branches coming off the limbs will be finer. And like I say, I'm hurrying here. You'll have plenty of time to do this at home. But see, if your paint doesn't literally flow off your brush as easily as mine is right here, it's just not thin enough. Add more thinner to it. And once you have put the uh, limbs on to your satisfaction, you will want to take a one inch brush with a little bit of sap green, maybe a touch of black to dull it. You probably want to put some lighter yellowy green in eventually. But I load it on the corner of the brush like this. Keep the bristles very open, not matted together. And it's a pretty easy procedure to put some loose leaves on these trees. So I hope that helps you. Uh, don't be afraid to try these birches out. They're a very popular tree. Everybody loves them. Um, they're kind of unique because they're that stark black and white contrast. So don't be afraid to give this a whirl. And I'd love to hear your comments. Hope this helped out. See you next time.